First of all, it's wonderful to have a president skiing because it's the first time a president skis. Well, talking about Jerry Ford on skis is like talking about, uh, uh, you know, a football player trying to ski. He always wanted to start on top of it, wants to ski all the way down. He never wanted to stop, you know, wanted to go straight through. A reckless abandon and uh, uh, not always perfect form, but a lot of enthusiasm and indefatigable spirit. I think he was very good because we had several of the press people they want to ski with him and there were only a couple of them that could keep up with him. He skied that well. He skis like a center, you know, on a football team. His feet wide apart and his, you know, his poles headed downhill. Nobody's going to knock him over. Uh, a mogul might knock him over, but uh, he, he was funny skiing with Jerry Ford. One time, for instance, he came down. Uh, there were 120 press people there and he just came down and right in front where the press was, he stopped there and he fell down. So everybody laughed. But uh, because I wasn't there, that's why he ran in trouble. Because I would have told him, you watch it underneath because it's icy. You got to be careful. Watch out. And uh, they didn't tell him. So he just came down and he slid out. And uh, that was the thing. Well, Jerry and Betty have made uh, Colorado and certainly the Vail Valley a year-round resort from uh, Betty's Alpine Gardens, which are so beautiful, to the amphitheater. Uh, the tremendous credit for turning uh, this state and this community into uh, a year-round cultural, recreational, and as I really believe, a family-friendly uh, resort. I can only tell you one thing, to have a president, President Ford here, to ski. Vail became known all over the world because he skied with us and he helped us tremendously. Jerry literally is an ambassador for Colorado and skiing and golf. And what is Colorado about other than recreation, love of the outdoors, the environment, uh, and the pursuit of a wonderful family experience and that's what Jerry and Betty are all about. He, he profoundly cares about the total experience of people and families uh, not only in this valley but throughout the state of Colorado. I think it's a great contribution. Roosevelt said one time, the credit in life goes not to the critic who stands on the sidelines and points out where the strong stumble. The real credit in life goes to the man in the arena, whose face gets marred by sweat and dust and blood and knows great enthusiasm and great devotion and learns to spend himself in a worthy cause, who at best, if he wins, knows the thrill of high achievement. But if he fails, he at least fails while daring greatly. So that in life his place is not found with those cold and timid souls who know, no, who know neither victory nor defeat. Gerald Ford is neither cold nor timid. His whole life he's known victory and defeat and he has spent his life in a pursuit of a worthy cause. I thank you for the high honor of being inducted into the Colorado Ski Museum Ski Hall of Fame for the year 2001. I am deeply grateful for this recognition and I thank everybody involved. The Ford family first skied in Colorado in the Christmas time of 1968 and we've been in love with Colorado skiing ever since. We uh, started with Betty and myself, then our four children, their spouses, and now our grandchildren. We think uh, Colorado skiing is the best any place, and uh, the Vail Valley is outstanding. I first started skiing back in 1938. Uh, we had wooden skis, no edges, leather boots, rope toes. We skied in Stowe, Vermont, Lake Placid, Bosques, and Massachusetts. But when you look at 
skiing worldwide, there's none better than Colorado. So I thank you again for this recognition.